Good morning, boys and girls, mums and dads. Welcome to our virtual assembly. My name is Sydney Fairfield, and I will be your host today. The assembly will start in a few moments. I would like to welcome Mr. Smith to address the assembly. Thank you, Sydney. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which Fairfield Public School sits, the Cabrical of the Darug Nation. I pay respects to elders both past and present and emerging. This is, was and always will be Aboriginal land. This morning I wanted to start our assembly by showing you some work that has been submitted on Seesaw from our students. To start off with is this beautiful artwork from Emanuela in KS. Look at the amazing creation made out of things from home. Just incredible. Our next piece of work comes from one of our school captains, Natea. She has constructed some amazing physical fitness tips as part of her online learning. Here is one you can try at home. If you pause the video, you can see some of the steps Natea has put together for you to try. The last piece of work comes from Mr. Casey's Year 4 class. Such clever work with wax resist to show the honeycomb design of the bee's hive. Well done to everybody for their continued hard work from home. You may not know, but yesterday, daylight saving ended. You would have noticed when you got out of bed this morning, it may have been a little bit darker than normal. If you haven't turned your clock back an hour yet, then you need to do so. Otherwise, you might be late for turning up for breakfast. Our learning from home packs were distributed last week via Seesaw and or collection from school. These packs were designed by our teachers to support you from uh, learning up until the end of week 11, which is this week. New learning from home packs are currently being prepared for distribution to students via Seesaw or collection in term two. We will let parents know via school bag and seesaw when to come and collect if they want a physical copy. On Wednesday this week, a learning from home sheet will be shared to all parents and students via seesaw and school bag. The sheet will have videos about washing your hands and other forms of support about where to get help if you need it. I would like to thank everyone for staying at home. I know it hasn't been easy and everyone is getting used to this new way of learning. My children are learning from home as well and so am I and so is my wife. You are helping to keep staff and students safe and by staying at home, the school can continue to support your children with their learning in a safe manner and effectively implement social distancing rules. The Department of Education has released additional funds for schools to support learning of students from home with access to technology. We have ordered additional iPads and internet access dongles for families, but they have not arrived yet. We will let families know when they can borrow technology from the school in Term 2. Please be patient as the technology has only been ordered on Wednesday last week and obviously distribution of stock is currently an issue. We have had many students and parents concerned about comments coming back from teachers on Seesaw that were not their classroom teacher. We have given our support teachers additional access to Seesaw to assist students with their learning. If you get a comment from a teacher you do not recognise, it should be a teacher from our school. If you are concerned about a comment, please talk to your teacher by posting a note or a comment and your classroom teacher will get back to you on Seesaw. Last week, over 200 families were contacted to see if families needed any support and to see how work was going. We are working our way through the phone calls as fast as we can. 
be patient. If you have not yet got a call from the school, it will come soon. In the meantime, if you have any concerns, you can contact the school on the normal school phone number or contact your child's teacher through Seesaw. If today had been a normal school day, we would have run our Anzac assembly this afternoon. Instead, I want to tell you about Anzac Day now through our video. Anzac Day will be commemorated on the last Saturday of the holidays. We commemorate our Anzacs because on the morning of Sunday the 25th of April in 1915, Australian and New Zealand troops entered their first major engagement of World War I. Stepping into a battle on a small beach in Turkey. What was hoped to be a very quick battle turned into a major disaster for the Anzac and Turkish troops. By the end of the first day, more than 600 Anzac troops had died and over 1,000 were injured. By the end of the Gallipoli campaign, over 11,000 Anzacs would be dead. Turkey and Australia and New Zealand suffered heavy losses of life, and it changed our country forever. The first Anzac Day was commemorated on the 25th of April, 1916. The day was marked by a wide variety of ceremonies and services across Australia. The first photo you can see is a march in Brisbane in 1916. The next photo was a march through London also in 1916. Anzac Day allows us to remember the sacrifices made during the First World War. Over the years, Anzac Day continues to recognise the sacri sacrifice of life both in Australia and in Turkey. Anzac Day recognises and commemorates the role that women, immigrants and Indigenous Australians and New Zealanders New Zealanders played in the war. No one wins during a war and Anzac Day allows us to remember, pause and reflect on our actions as a society and how we should be supporting each other. We are supporting each other now by staying at home, providing each other with love and care in our house, being patient with each other and not going to the shops unnecessarily. We need to maintain our social distancing and to look after each other. That's what our Anzacs would want us to do. As we close out our last week of Term 1, I want to thank everyone for the hard work, patience, kindness and support during what has been a horrible beginning to the school year. Everyone deserves a break during the school holidays. Rest, read, stay home, take a quick walk every day with an adult around the block to get some exercise. Remember, you cannot play in the park. All playground equipment is closed. You cannot go to the movies or to the beach or to the shops and sit down in the food court. You can go to get groceries, but you cannot stay in the shopping centre. We have to stay safe by keeping our social distance of 1.5 metres from each other. The Easter holidays begin on Thursday afternoon and school will be closed from Friday the 10th of April until Tuesday the 28th of April. The New South Wales Government is still encouraging parents to keep their children at home if they can during Term 2. Please keep checking School Bag and Seesaw for further information about school towards the end of the holidays. I wish everyone a safe and peaceful holiday. I look forward to seeing more work on Seesaw in Term 2. I will now pass back to Sydney Fairfield, who will close the assembly. Thank you, everybody. 
Thank you, Mr. Smith. I hope everyone has a wonderful day.